Hello everyone. So I'm inclined to share something with you that was taught to me as a child and I've learned from some of the masters of the game, okay? Some of the best short gamers of all time. And they were taught by a gentleman named Paul Runyon, all right? I don't want this to die. It's a great way, I believe it's the absolute best way to chip and putt, okay? Now, most people grab their short iron here or wedge or whatever you're doing to hit your little bump and run shot. But what do they do? They put their full swing grip, stand to the side and try to hold on to it, all right? That's really volatile because this grip's designed to hit the ball 300 yards. It's gonna twist the face over and you're not gonna be very accurate, okay? What Paul Runyon believed is that if you could neutralize the club face by putting your left hand under like this and having a mirror image with your right hand, now, even if the club flips, it's gonna be square. The face is square to your target. It's not going all over the place. So worst case scenario, you're gonna be accurate, okay? So left hand under, stance square, heel up in the air a little bit. That gets the shaft plane in line with your forearms, all right? And then based on the shot, you play it in your stance accordingly. If you want it to roll a little more like we are here, I'll move it back, okay, and lean left. Now, I have a nice steep angle of attack. I've eliminated all this crap back here. I'm not gonna blade it, I'm not gonna fat it. That's a nice thing to know when all your money's on the line and you really gotta hit a nice shot, okay? So it should look something like this. Do that again. So again, heel up in the air, putting stance, square, little back in the stance, left hand under, right hand under, this neutralizes the face, bump and run. Give that a try, I guarantee yeah. you're getting better. Come on, <laughs> dude. <laughs> this is ridiculous.